Hello, it's Paddy from Fingers on Plastic. Uh, no funny intro today for this video. Uh, instead, you get me. Sorry. Uh, this video is going to be a review for Netflix Ultra Magnus, and we're going to go to an unboxing in a minute. But before we do that, I just wanted to have a chat with all you wonderful people out there because I know it's a difficult time for everyone at the moment and uh, every time I turn on the television there's nothing but bad news and um, we had some more bad news of late at my workplace uh, we lost another good man um, who sadly passed away went by the name of Chili um, I didn't know Chili very well he wasn't a personal friend of mine I knew him to talk to and to see around the place and the fact that he's not going to be around anymore fills me with a huge sadness as I know it um, it will do for a lot of, of people. Chile you're going to be missed mate. more than you could ever imagine really um, some of the stuff that's been said about you on Facebook and, and the memories that people have been um, showing about you and that just shows what a fantastic man you were and how lucky we were to have you at Wembley, and that's for sure. Your funny jokes, just the John Lawrence videos. I'm not joking yet, they're the funniest thing I think I've ever seen in my life. Um, thank you for that, and thank you to John for always having a sense of humour about it. Um, Chili Passing has made me consider a lot of things about me, um, the fact that I should let worry less about myself and, and more about other people and I know I'm not alone in that there are other people that are feeling the same way and I don't want to go on I don't want to bore you all but uh, just remember that um, if anyone out there is struggling that we are here for you um, not only everyone here at Fingers on Plastic but people in general and our community our Transformers community is a strong one our Arsenal community is a strong one and regardless of what community you come from, if you need to reach out, please do. There are loads of people that you can do it to. It doesn't have to be me, but if it needs to be me or you want it to be me, please contact me and we will get through whatever it is we need to get through together. Okay, right. Um, let's have a look at Ultra Magnus and go through the unboxing. And just for you, Chili, there may be a transformation in this. It might not be the best, but it might be the first live transformation that Paddy has done all for you. Rest in peace Chili. See you dude. Okay unboxing time. Here's the box. Side. And back. Put them on the top of the place. I've got a logo there. Interesting box, it really is. Uh, so when you open it like this, you get Autobot and Decepticon writing, and I just have a sneaking feeling, spoiler alert, that uh, Magnus is going to change sides, or there's something afoot with it. And that is the reason why I got this toy, because I'm not, excuse me for the knife, um, I'm not, uh, Away from yourself, thank you. I had this original colour toy and I wasn't enamoured by it, but I just have a feeling that it's going to be a big character and it's going to be a big storyline in it. And with that in mind, I really want this guy. So he opens up and look at whatever the hell is in there. I don't know. What's in there? So find out, tell me. Oh, this looks like Play-Doh or some kind of stuff. I really don't know what that is. What is that? Hmm? There's something in that and I don't know what it is. I'm going to have to investigate. Okay, put that down here. And we're left with Magnus. 
There he is. Okay, so let's get him out of this and have a look. And before we do that, we'll just have a quick look at how he comes in the packaging. The colour is good, I like it. I think, did I see that there's an extension for this one? If there is, I'll get it. There's Luke blowing his nose on the jar. It's exciting, isn't it? Okay, there. Right, let's get him out of the packaging. Okay, so when you open this, it's like Play Doh. Is it Play Doh? I don't know what you call it, but it's this stuff. And deep at the bottom of it is this. It looks like Energon Cube, so that's got to mean something, hasn't it? So, secret hidden stash of Energon and Ultra Magnus and forcing to surrender for some reason. What is it? I'm intrigued. I really am. Okay, see you in a minute. Hey there, it's uh, Optimus Prime from Prime Time TV again, and uh, we're looking at Netflix's super secret spoiler box, Ultra Magnus. Now, not having seen the Netflix show yet, I can actually tell you what the spoiler is, but I'm probably guessing that it's something to do with the box of black goo, which I'm sure Paddy has already spoken to you about. So, what I'm going to do is um, do a very quick little look at this dude and compare him to his uh, Siege counterpart. Um, and then I'm going to attempt <laughs> to live transform him without instructions, which is a simple thing to do because I'm an old hat at doing this sort of thing. But I haven't actually transformed this guy since I transformed this guy when I got this guy, whenever that was. Um, so very quickly, this one, white and shiny, with lots of little scrapey things that they have all over them. Let's get, Let's get him off there. Um, so yep, he's all white and shiny and bright red and quite bright blue and lots of battle damage. Whereas this guy, he's a lot more gray. Yeah, gray. It's, it, the whole thing with the, 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 the Netflix show stuff is they just seem to be dirtier. It's, uh, I guess they're going for a more of a realistic war fighty feel. Um, a lot of the parts on this guy that are white or red are dark grey on this guy. But other than that, it, it's, it's, it's pretty much the same figure. I mean, it is the same figure. The one disappointing thing I found about these, these Netflix figures, considering that they're a premium price point, um, they have no paint apps on the weapons. There's no paint whatsoever on there. There's no paint on these things either. Whereas this dude, he's got uh, white plastic with red paint on the on the weapons, and his even his gun is painted silver. Um, boo. However, that's not a really a deal breaker. Let's face it. It's a nice little. It looks cool. Uh, the paint apps are actually really nice. Um, I, I got the, uh, the 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 Mirage a couple of days ago. The paint apps on him are fantastic. Anyway, um, I told Simon that I would uh, transform this guy, so he wanted me to get him into truck mode. So I'm going to do that. Um, oh, one other thing, a little bit wobbly on the legs, but this one was a little bit wobbly on the legs as well. So I think it's just a mold thing. Right, let's get this gun off here. Now, I'm going to fully admit, as I said earlier, I have only transformed this guy once, so I'm quite likely to completely hash this up. Um, let's have a go. Clip his legs out from the legs. Just slide out nice and easy. Uh, do, do, do. Okay, that bit. Yes, it's all coming back to me now. Unclip that bit. And then unclip that bit. Ha <laughs> ha! Parts forming at its finest. Just take those bits off. And. Can't remember what happened with those. Oh, yes. There's a little clip there. And then poppy outy. Clippy, clippy, poppy outy. Ah, and then we have a delightful 
headless white Optimus Prime Ultra Magnus. Um, actually, there's a point of contention between myself and young young Paddy. Um, white Optimus Primes are Ultra Magnus. They are not Optimus Primes and do not count in Optimus Prime collection. So there. Um, in my opinion. Yeah, so um, I can't be able to get his head out. I'm just going to turn him into a, a truck. Truck, 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 truck. See if I can remember how he goes. I'm sure Simon will have sped this up and made me sound like some kind of speedy, speed speaking, speed person. Probably with a high pitched voice. Probably sounding a bit silly. But it's fine. I don't mind. <laughs> I can't remember how this goes. There's something I've forgotten. Definitely something I've forgotten. It's like a Rubik's cube. <laughs> One. So if you've got the um, original version of Ultra Magnus, this will transform in exactly the same way. Um, and you'll probably do it a bit quicker than me because I'm being somewhat of a forgetful Nelly. But I think that's, those arms can't be right, but they might be. Truck. Truck. That can't be right. We'll see. Um. So long. I should have transformed this once before I did this video because then I would look less of a doofus. So ordinarily, I will get a figure out of the box and I will transform it once. And then it'll sit in robot mode, probably for the rest of eternity, because that's how I display them. I got a really good idea. I definitely, definitely didn't just go and look at the instructions. I might have looked at the instructions. It's only because I just completely forgot how this guy goes. Still feels wrong. Nothing's wrong. No, that's not right. It's right. It's right. Everything's right. Everything's good. We're all good here. I'm fine. How are you? So I'm going to imagine that some seamless editing has taken place. Um, 
where it'll suddenly show that I've almost completed this in what would appear to be seconds uh, rather than the far, far too long that it's actually taken me to do what I have achieved, which is very little with my life. Um... <laughs> Yay! Truck! Um, that was, that was poor. That was very, very poor. Um, and I apologize for how very poor that was. Where is going to go? There, I think. Why not? Why not? So one of the big downsides to this truck is that you can't put vehicles in it, which is a bit daft for a car transporter so you can't put anything in the inside again it's exactly the same as this one only the colors are a bit more muted a bit more dirty can you still rooms quite well and that's really what you want from a transformer that turns into a truck this is not an optimus prime if it was an Optimus Prime, I'd be far more excited. I bought this figure for completion's sake. It's quite cool. Is it worth 60 quid? No, I wouldn't say so. It is nice to get the weird little uh, electro rung. I like that. Also, I don't have a rung, and now I have a pink rung. Hooray. And you can pop him on there to do electro death this pink i assume energon doom stick um maybe he's the spoiler maybe that's the spoiler who knows till we see the show and then we'll go oh well i wish i hadn't known that before anyway yeah here's a truck now Woo, truck! i prefer this one thanks see you again Okay, so unboxing was a success. Um, here he is, Netflix Ultra Magnus. And I'm gonna have to admit, when I got this guy, I got the original and I didn't transform him. And I really, really wish that I had. Not because I like the style of this truck. I'm not overly enamored by the style of it, but it is different, you know, it's Cybertronian, which I do like. Um, but it's just so clever. It's so, so clever, it really is. Uh, it, it uses everything in his robot mode and you pile it together and you get this, which I just think that on its own is awesome. Now, I am not the best transformer in the world. I mean, it's a little bit meh. But if you have a look here, you will see the color difference from the original. Simon does have the original still because he didn't sell his because he's not an idiot. Um, and we'll be able to show you hopefully the differences. And then at the back you've got here. I just think they've done such a wonderful job with the paintwork. They really have. It is brilliant. And here he is next to Siege Optimus Prime. I think that that is awesome. I really really think that they've done a great job with it and the colors uh, as well the only thing about this one is i think the original this was better than the original i can't remember i think it was a, a darker color or more painted i'm not sure what i just remember looking at this thinking mm, the original looked better to me uh so right are we brave enough to try a live transformation chili in your memory we are going to do it Right, okay, so, here we go. Simon, you can start laughing now. We take this bit off, and we take this bit, and this, and the guns. And then you're left with the trailer, like that. Okay, right, next thing to do is one tab here, where we have a tab on this side that connects into this thing. 
here. So you untab on that one, and then we're going to untab it there again. See? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, Ben, you're so much better at this than I am. Right. Now at here, you will see a little clip, and you just release that, and you get this guy. So we're going to put that over there for a minute, and now you have the truck. What do you make this truck? Okay, let's transform him then. Uh, the truck is, it's a beautiful color. It's just a shame that, you know, in this mode, you can just see his hand sticking out there like that. I mean, come on, that's seriously. Okay, so there's some clips here. And we unclip there. A clip here comes in from there and same on this side, boom. And then the uh, hands clip in on that to here. So we click on like that. And like that, and lo and behold, as if by magic, you have the upper body of the white truck. Not done, because I'm a moron. Um, do we need to unclip those first? Yes, of course we do. Unclip the arms, raise this out, and then you put the head on, clip those back, and then clip your arms in, and then we have it. So, live transformation. Nothing gonna happen at all, fine. Right, so then we unclip the legs, which you'll have heard but not seen. There we go, one there, and one there. And then the legs come out like that. This is the bit where he turns around. Yep, so you gotta spin him around, he says, and then push him back. And when you push him back, he comes here by that worst description ever. And then the only other thing to do is his backside. Hello. Needs to move up. And if you just pull on that, it will eventually happen. Uh, but I'm not doing a very good job of it, he says. And off camera, this happened so easily. Ah, so I've got to pull it out first and then up and then in. It's as if I knew what I was doing. Right, well, seeing as we have him here, why don't we have a little look at him? He's got good articulation. You know, he can do that. There will be more singing on this channel, just so you know, if you don't like it, you, uh, you won't like this channel very much, I think. I tell you what I do like in this, I love his blue face. Look at the little blue face, hello. I do like a good blue face on a Magnus. If we come here, see Planet X. I love his blue face too. I really do. And the off-white on this is beautiful. Uh, if you want to see a video of this guy, uh, shout out in the comments. I can do it. And if not, I won't. See how this works? Democracy, it's good. Right, okay. So, am I brave enough to put on his armor on camera? you chili yes i am let's do it okay so the first thing to do is to pull those back and there is a clip now watch this folks you see here and that just needs to unclip and it'll go it's quite tight so bear with me there we go and then this comes off all right so then you're left with these two things and they just come out quite easily okay so we're going to separate those then we're going to take this and it's the legs so that's nice and easy we just separate them all right there that was easy wasn't it and we're done no I uh right let's move those out of the way off camera as if i'm professional and i know what i'm doing and then we're left with this which is what was upside down on it just look at the color on that isn't that nice the only difference about ro problem about robot is you don't see it because it's on the back. So we pull this down like that, and we have the head, and then this at the back. So but before I do that, actually, we're just going to unplug these two things because there is arms. And again, that was easy on camera. Oh, camera, I mean. Okay, so then we're left with that. So this clips in like that, and that goes in like that. And then we've got this, woohoo! And these bits, and those bits, and this. 
Oh, right. Okay, so let's put on his head. Now, I'll tell you what I need to do first off is we need to hide this head in order for that head to go on. So we're going to unclip the arms again. It's not as if we haven't done that a few times, is it? Flick this head in and then you have a headless Ultramicus. And that. Okay, so we're going to get this. We're going to lift it up like that. And then we are going to decide that before we do that, we need to pull this down. Give him his butt of justice. He needs a butt of justice in order for this to work. Then we clip on. Is that right? He says. Come on, guys, bear with me. You know you, you know you need Ben for this kind of thing, don't you, Ben? You do. Do you know what? Is that here? Can you use this now? You know what? Nearly. Nearly never boiled the kettle though, did it? Hey. Okay. So there's two little ports at the very top, and you have to just push them in. He says. Easier said than done, mind. Okay, so the back goes in nice and easy. And the front. There we go. So, uh, for those of you at home, clip them on to the back because he will clip on a lot easier. So now we're starting to take shape. There we go, look at that. Next thing to do is take your stacks and this little thing pulls up. And we got another one, this little thing pulls up. And the only thing about the color sequence that I don't like is I would have preferred his stacks to be whiter with, with some more, like, like this, would say all over with just like a dab of the gray. Uh, which way does that go on? It's gonna have to go on that way because these things need to be at the back. And we just clip it on like that. And this one clips on. He says, oh, clips on just like that. Come on, Paddy. And there we go, look at that. We're getting there. We are getting there. If you're still with me, I'm sorry. And thank you very much. Okay, so this thing, we just kind of fold until it goes right. Basically, that's it. I, I just fold it and then it looks like that. There is no rhyme or reason to it. Clip, clip, he says. Clip, 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 and as if by magic, they happen. And you can see the color here, really, really cool. Now, there's two, there's a clip in here, which we used in vehicle mode. And that clip in there, you see that one there and that one there, the two holes? Yeah, can you see my face? I'm sorry about that. Can't do anything about my face. Okay, and you just clip that in. Oh, that one seems easy. Will this one go? Will it? Will it really? It did. Oh, thank you, Jeebus. Right, there we go. We're nearly done. A transformation on camera. Oh, my word. Oh, oh, it deserves some sort of an award if this works, but it's not over just yet. So, this thing here, I say this thing, you can't even see it, can you? There, it's going to go in. Here. So we do that, and then we clip like that, and we are so close, and it's the same on the other side, as the beautiful Emgo would say, and we clipped it, and ladies and gentlemen, we have a robot, woohoo, da, well I learned something new, when someone tries to ring me and I cancel the call, it cancels the video on my phone, so, I had just finished, apart from this little thing. Twist that around, click, you put in these things, and voila, we have a live transformation that's been done. And boy, was that close. Uh, if you hear in the background, I took the liberty of putting my washing machine on. Uh, no, Simon is not in the washing machine, but that's a good idea, Andy. 
washing machine. Simon, next time you're down, you're going in there. Right, here he is. And he is beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Here he is with Arthurize Optimus. And he towers over him. Big guy, big guy, but so well put together. And the transformation of this guy is just awesome. It really is. I, it's so intuitive. It, it's just great. It really is a, you know, it's a Magnus with extra, or it's a Prime with extra bits I put on really to make that Magnus. It's just, it's spot on. It really, really is. And I need an original of this already. So next time Simon comes down, he bring his original with him and I'll just have him to keep it. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, so here he is. Uh, we'll get some photographs because my camera angle is terrible on this. But before we do that, we will turn the camera around and get a better look at him. Stand by. And here he is with the washing machine in the background. And you can really get the new color on that face. It is a beautiful face. I don't know if you can see the blue in the eyes there, but it looks awesome. And the feet look so good. Turn them around, you got that there. And if we turn him around, then you'll see a little bit of white there. I would have wished there was more of that, but absolutely awesome. Awesome, awesome transformer. It really, really is. And of course, this transformer and video is a memory of our good friend Chili. So, from henceforth, we shall call this guy Chili. That shall be your name. And there we go. Right. Quick goodbye from me and we. Uh, so fine thoughts on this guy. Love him. Absolutely love him. He is an awesome figure. Very well put together. Transformation is fantastic. And the paint app that I've put on him is stupendous. I really do hope that he has a prominent um, story in the new Netflix series. And that is it from me, just to say, um, rest in peace, Chili. And uh, if anyone out there does need to talk to anyone, uh, Fingers on Plastic's door is always, always open. Drop a note in the comments and uh, myself or Simon or little Dave will get back to you. Uh, it's a tough time for everybody. Let's make sure we get through it together and let's support one another, knock, knock one or other down. That's basically my message to you. Fine people. Okay. We shall see you very soon with some more Netflix robots. Bye for now. on plastic.